are you talking about? I gotta uncover it, don't I? <laughs> you act like I'm polluting them. <laughs> well, Roger's got a good signal here. I've and, been uh, known to muddy the water at times, Bill, <laughs> but you know, hey, that's the way things are. Get things done. That topic could be for another day. Yes, it would. Yes, that's a good way to shut me up, Bill. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be very careful here. We don't want any uh, crawdads biting me, Bill. Yeah, you got that right. They're in here. Yeah. Well, let's, let's give another scan. Right there. Right there. All right, I'm going in. He's going in. Get the heavy stuff, Bill. Heavy artillery. This is where I need a, you know, a... Uh, sieve or something. But the water is cold. <laughs> well, this yeah. says a constant 59, but because it's winter, I'll say it's in the upper 30s. Probably, Bill. Probably, Bill. Like, I'll drag the pond, Bill. It reminds me of that, that Nazi gold job in Austria, if you remember that, Bill. All right. Yeah, I, we, that was before the time searchers, Bill. You know, the canister with mm -hmm. the counterfeit money and then the strong box with the gold. But that's that's for another time, Bill. Uh oh, maybe it's on. Oh, that's the foul. I that I dropped that foul. I found that foul like ten minutes ago in the hill. But that was not the signal <laughs> that was done. That yeah, was yeah, a yeah, yeah. Signal. Bill. I, I must have dislodged it. Try on it. Up on this? Yeah. No? Uh oh, Bill. I lost it. Oh, I lost it, man. That was you a good signal. Yeah. What can I say? You what, lost what it. What do you think? <laughs> I think it was a good signal? It was a good signal. It's not now. Well, yeah, but. The water. Do you think it fell into a, a crevice or something? I could have. Angle just right. Bill, here we are. We're searching this hole. Yes, we are. Because the signal disappeared. It We're did, like, what the hell? Yes, we wondered. And we wondered to ourselves. Yes. And Roger just happened to do what? Well, Bill, I, you know, I was one. I looked on, and well, there, Bill, I looked, and it's, <laughs> it's stuck to. It's a, stuck to the digging tool. tool. It is a button, Bill. We wondered why that signal disappeared. We found out it was on the digging tool. That can't be. Can't be what? That can't be not. What? <sighs> what? What is this crown? Roger found a artillery code button. Oh my God! Is Revolutionary it? War. It's right there. Can't beat that. Right oh there. Shit! Let me see that. Look at that. Three anchors and the cannons. Damn straight. Oh my god! god. Oh, oh, this is the second one of these I found. This is bigger than the well, other that, one. Actually, Rogers found like three or four well, artillery yeah, buttons. Yeah, but here not of this a, not of this variation, Bill. Well but two holy, two look at that. of that variation. This is this a, is the bigger coat button. Yeah, this is the this yeah, this would be the second one. Roger will be variation. sleeping with that tonight. <laughs> yes, I will, Bill. I'll be like this. Yes, come here. Yes. Well, congratulations, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate oh, I'm it. I'm so happy for you. Oh, thank you. I you know, I've I just man, I, I'm just I can't believe it. This I just what can I say, Bill? Man. Wow. And what wow. a story on that button. Stuck to the digging tool. Stick it, stuck to the digging tool. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. Look at that. This had to have been some kind of a. They had to I think some. the military guy, a couple of military people were here and were in the artillery. Oh yeah. Look at that. <sighs> oh, it looks beautiful on video. It's Man, nice. look at that, folks. Yeah. That's what it's all about right there. It is. That was Finding working. great relics like that. Oh my god, yes. Shit. Revolutionary War. Can't beat it. No. <laughs> No, I, I'm it still... makes you think about these people that lived here. Yeah. Were they deserters from the British Army? Were they loyalists? Or, yeah. Loyal. I think, my honest opinion, I think a lot of deserters came over to the west of the uh, Alleghenies. Uh, Alleghenies and uh, and they had here because most of this area was Scotch-Irish. So. True. And I think 
They knew the British wasn't going to come this far. Well, yeah, but still, wouldn't you be afraid of a, of a hangman's noose spill? I know I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't be having British artillerymen buttons on me if I was a deserter. Right. Maybe that, some of their enlistments might have run out, too. Yeah, or maybe be. there was a garrison here, yeah, despite what that know. lady said, uh, the spirit. Right. So we'll see. I'll see. All right, well, man. I, thank you, Bill. I'm just, wow. Well, I say uh, let's get cracking here, man. Let's get cracking. Okay, let's see. Okay. okay, I'm down here in the foundation of the Springhouse Slash Livery Stable. And as you can see, the spring is going full force. Clint Relic Hunter cleaned up his dam holding reservoir up there and cleared the, the path of the stream, as you can see it, the spring. And I'm down here, as you can see, we've got a lot of water. I detected the bottom of this. And didn't get any signals. I dug out on the sides near where Bill had made his now famous spoon mold find and I haven't found any. I've periodically detected among the sod that's between the rocks and I haven't come up with anything but I still feel somewhere in here that there's something and you know every time I'm here I plan to do a little bit of digging on a foundation if not this one another one here at this lost colonial village Bill, this is truly like the lost city of Pompeii among yeah. colonial villages. Yes, it is. It just, I, I'm. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So. I believe there's stuff in there. I believe there's stuff. I, yeah, there's stuff in here. Well, I'll keep everything nice and cold when the summer comes. Yes, yes. Well, I'll do a little more digging here and then, then we can do some photo shoots. And uh, this has been a great day here at the lost colonial village. I'm gonna keep yeah, going. Bit, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, Bill. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know what time it is now, don't you? It's roundup time. That's right. It's relic roundup time, Bill. As I believe Ed Fidelry used to say in his column, right. the time searchers relic roundup here of the finds here, Lost Colonial Village, uh, made here February. 2016. So, Bill, do you want to begin? Yeah, let's start with mine. Okay. A nice British copy oh, there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, if it says 1753 or 1733. Uh, or so it's just a, on the it's cusp of being readable. Yeah. Then we have another one, next another one. Another one right there. And then we have a great find. But a a the, lovely, you know, yes. Spanish 1808. Okay. Two real. Two real, the fifth one found, recovered at the Los Colonial Village, and may I add, oh, look at the condition of that coin, yeah. Bill, that's fabulous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, beautiful. And, uh, and then a silver plated. Yeah, that one there. I'll have to looks, clean it. There's a pattern on it. Whoop. Whoop. Right, Bill, we got, there's a bag. The, yeah, that shows that it was a brass base metal, it looks like. And But there's definitely a pattern on that. Yes. I can't tell. I think it is military. It's like a crest or whatever. I think it's military. military. And a couple other nice buttons, yeah. a nice little small That little one. And then, button. to me, a really, really special find. Yeah. A cross. A lead-made cross, homemade, the, made right here on site. Probably made here on site. Yeah. But uh, what's special, that was a real personal it's item. personal items. The personal items are always good and the rarest. And yes, and they are. And that yeah. that's a rare item to me. Yeah, that it is. Great find. Yeah. And, uh, well, Bill, then we have, of course, we have my finds, which, Bill, you, you were looking and photographing the buttons earlier. We didn't mm -hmm. turn them, but this is the best find I made today, which uh, is the Colonial yeah. Artillery button, as you can see. And that would be Revolutionary War era, probably 1770s. And it uh, looks like it's off a coat, Bill, and it even has a fine pattern behind the cannons. Yes. So Definitely a coat button. Yeah. And uh, then we have a regular, this is like a pewter composite button, gold gilt on it. And then we have some other buttons here, Bill. A couple there. There's another. Another German silver. Yeah, German one, silver. Right? Now, this one's a concave. Yeah. And uh, we'd have to clean it up. Probably not a pattern on there, but it is concave, which I always like to see concave colonial buttons. Yeah, it's always nice. Yeah. And then we got this one, the last one that uh, found down at the bottom of the hill. 
and I don't think there's a pattern on her. First I did, but uh, it has slight concave uh, shape to it. So, Bill, I'm very satisfied. You know, I got uh, six finds. You pulled out, pulled out eight. It's just 14 finds made here today at the Los Colino Village in just a few hours. Not bad. I think it's today, so. in this day and age. Yeah. And we've already pulled so much out here already. Yeah. There's a lot more to go, Bill. That's right. I can't wait. I can't wait either. I hope to find my gold coin. All right, it's to... here. It's here somewhere. Yeah. And, you know, as you can see, I was digging around down there, Bill. I'm hoping there will be you some other around. relics to be had there. Yep, you're but that's a mystery to be solved at another day, another time. That is so true. So, anyway, Bill, that's the relic roundup, and we'll be seeing you somewhere, somewhere in time. time. This is the hike out of the Lost Colonial Village. Thank you, spirits. We appreciate all your help. We'll definitely be back. I hike out of the Lost Colonial Village. Back into the 21st century, Bill. Unfortunately. You know, then that begs the question, Bill. If we did indeed find a portal, like I told you about that Twilight Zone, where, you know, the guy either gets off the train or he comes up in the pond, and he finds he's back in the day. Yep. What would you do? Would you stay or would you try to get back to the to the uh, present? Well, yeah. I mean, not to rip another show, Phil, but you, would you want to go back to the future? I don't know. Yeah. I want to explore the time. It was more simple. <laughs> no, I'd be in big trouble back then, Bill. And the problem is, the only way I'd really survive would be if I was part of the royal family, which I'm not, so I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> you know, I could be like a goofy Prince Charles type guy walking around. Finally lodged Lucy how it made the other tree. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I do, yeah. Actually that scarred on there, it was in there. Not bad that years ago. Yeah. It grew, grew around it. it grew. Yes. Jeez, that's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs>